metals are good conductors of electricity. In this module, you will learn that the metals are good conductors of electricity. You might have noticed that electricians use an electric tester that has a plastic insulation at the touching or holding end. Why is it so? Well, you will be able to answer this question after doing this activity. For this activity, we need iron rod, coal, copper wire, a piece of plastic, insulated electric wires and a bulb. Make an electric circuit with the help of electric wires, battery and the bulb. Connect the iron rod between the open ends of the wires. What do you see? You can see that the bulb glows. It means that iron rod is a good conductor of electricity. Now, connect the coal piece between the open ends of wires. You will observe that the bulb does not glow this time. It shows that coal is a bad conductor of electricity. On repeating the same activity with copper wire, you will see that the bulb glows. On the other hand, when the piece of plastic is connected between the open ends of wire, the bulb does not glow. On the basis of these observations, these materials can be grouped as good conductors and bad conductors of electricity. You can see from the table that metals like iron rod and copper wire are good conductors of electricity and coal and plastic are bad conductors of electricity. So a tester is insulated by plastic to protect the holder from electric shock as it is a bad conductor of electricity. In this module, you have learned that metals are good conductor of electricity. That is, they allow electric current to pass through them.